Hey guys, um, here I just want to do some um, review of the camera bags I have. I have three bags right now, this one and the uh, low pro and also a um, Tamba messenger bag. I prefer, well, for a short trip, um, maybe to other cities, I can, I wanted to carry this bag because um, it's not very big and also on the other hand, uh, I can carry a lot more stuff than the messenger bag. So here it is, an Amazon camera bag. Uh, I got it for around 35 or 40 bucks. For the price, it's pretty good. So here, just open it up. Um, so you have two compartments on the on the cover and uh, this is the configuration I have so far this is the camera body I got it used for around 400 bucks on eBay I used to have a 500D which is a T1i uh, from Best Buy and I sold it for 40D because uh, I like 40D because the continuous shooting the frame per second was a lot higher than uh, 500D. It is, um, I think it's 6.5 frames per second, which is pretty good for the landscape. Or, I mean, if you're shooting birds, wildlife, or if you're gonna shoot sports, you can like grab all those moments you wanted. I shoot a lot of landscape too, and um, which is the lens I use. Um, for the lens, I use a uh, Sigma 10 to 20. You know, because uh, it's pretty wide for the 10 millimeter side, uh, range, and this is a 17 to 40 on the 40D body. I bought, I, I bought this one new. This is the only L lens I bought new, and uh, it was around 750, 780 bucks. Here is another um, little. 50 1.8 Mark II lens. I bought it two years ago for around um, 90, 95 bucks. Um, it's still working um, to my surprise because it's made all plastic. Even on the back cup, I mean the back, uh, the rear mount is all plastic. Uh, but it worked. It works real fine though. Then it, it works better than I thought. And it gives really good image quality as well, especially if you want the good uh, bokeh on the background. So that, I, and I didn't bother to sell it because it's only 90 bucks, which isn't worth the money to sell it if you want, you know. And here is the Canon 7200 at 4 is I was gonna get a um, Sigma 7200 um, 2.8 without OS I think it's the same thing as IS for Canon but that lens was just too heavy and this was uh, in stock as well but it's used I would say it's refurbished it was a display lens, so and there's nothing happened to it. Still got the warranty sheets, and um, I got it for around um, 950 bucks, which is pretty good because the the retail price was I think it's um 1300 or even 1400. I'm not sure about now, but it was when I bought this, and this is a flash cord. I found doing portrait uh, a little off-camera flash will help will really you know level your pictures up a notch since it just looks better or it looks more professional but right now I'm still amateur I don't I don't do professional portrait shootings but um, I'm trying I'm trying to improve on that aspect too but I like landscape more, so. 
Uh, I'm not gonna talk about this lens, Sigma 10 to 20. I bought this for my friend actually, for um, 400 bucks with a um, filter and um, the lens pouch, which I don't use them anymore. And here is the Canon Speedlight 430 EX2. Love this uh, flash. I don't. I don't do portrait that much, so I'm. I assume this the flash are more for portrait, so I don't need that um, 580 VX thing. It's more, 200 bucks more, so it's like a husky LED light to do some light painting for the um, landscape. So. Here in the two compartments, I have, well, for one of them, I have two spare batteries. I got them for 20 bucks for two, and uh, a shutter release for 40 d On the top, I have a micro, I mean, fiber, fiber, micro cloth, micro cloth, microfiber cloth, yes. And uh, batteries for um, flash. And here in the, another compartment here, I have the universal charger. I lost the original one during a trip, so I bought this one from Reader Shack for around 30 bucks, which is a lot for a charger. But it works pretty good. Actually, it can charge any batteries, so it's worth it for me. Here's a Pelican case. I have a portable hard drive, Western Digit, with covered with um, bubble sheets because it doesn't really fit inside it's smaller than the inside of the case so just put some sheets in there to you know, absorb the shocks so here's the Amazon bag I don't have anything here no. oh I have all the lenses except the Sigma in EF format so that um I can upgrade my camera body soon, uh, which I'm saving money right now for a 5D or even a um, 5D, I mean 5D Mark II or even Mark III if it comes out soon. But I'll get them, I'll get which one that's there when I get the money. So here's the Amazon bag, it's pretty sturdy and uh, it actually has one little. I mean, two little strap for the um, tripod. If you can put a tripod, small tripod in here. Actually, I actually can put a, a large one too, which is a little longer, which is fine for me. And uh, so, for comparison, I have another um, camera bag, which is from GoPro. I forgot the name for this, but um, I like the because the size, it carries all my gears with no problem. And uh, and also the tripod too. The tripod case uh, holder, hold the tripod here. And top here, have another strap for the tripod, just go around it. This case is huge, as you can see, compared to the Amazon bag. So. I don't carry this around. I don't even carry this around in, this, in my home or in my home city, because um, this is heavy. If you put all the gears in, it's gonna be around 25, 30 pounds, and you don't you don't want to carry them around um, while you're photo shooting in another city or doing a long trip. So I just save this bag for long trips. It has tens of compartments. Here. I don't think I see it, but um, sorry. It's huge. As you can see here, the 40D cup, like, it takes almost half of the space. The 40D here is almost nothing. And the 7200 right here. And the strap is really fun for it too. Put um, batteries here, memory cards, another um, 
put um, pens, pens, cloth, warranty sheets. I think that's uh, your phone. Yep. So, so on top of this, I got another one, messenger bag, which I carry every day. Even though I don't carry, I don't carry cameras with it, I carry my um, laptops. This, you see, it's a messenger bag. It's, it looks, it doesn't even look like a camera bag, so it's low profile. And um, put a laptop right here. It was no problem. Here is a um, HP 15.4 inch. Just slide it right in there. Yeah, it was no problem. The only thing I don't, I don't like to put my laptop in there while I'm holding. I mean, while I'm having my cameras in. Is that if you put your laptop in and put your cameras in, it's gonna stick out a little bit so that it's a little thicker than what it used to be, where we should be at, at, at for my opinion. See, it's a, it's doesn't look good or good for mobility, so I don't really carry laptops since um, whenever I use this bag, it's always short trip, just walk around. As you can see, this camera goes in real good. Even with the 7200, it goes in without any problems. It has two other compartments and also a little space inside. Here, if you put this 7200 right here, there's no problem. And even this 1020 right here. And you can also put a um, Call it like a compartment uh, wall or pad on top of it. Also, you can put a flash on the side right here. See, everything goes in with no problem, and you can you even have space on top of it. Just put anything you want, and it's got, it's got a lot of compartments too, very deep too. Right here, another compartment. The paper works maybe. And uh, it closes like this. And uh, just drag it back. Okay. And uh, here, the thing I like about this template bag is that it opens up from the top, so you can grab your gears easily while you're walking the street maybe yeah and here there's another bag compartment I mean and the pattern the padding on the back is real good it's very comfort and ventilated and also the padding on the strap is extremely comfortable it's huge it's soft it's not slippery at all and the uh, connect the attachments are um, old metal parts which is um, Good for camera bags because it's safer with the metal parts. And uh, you can't even tell it's a camera bag. So it's low profile, it's easier to carry around every day. And um, yeah. So here are, um, here are my three bags right now. And I'm planning to get a 5D Mark II said that already so in the future if you have any recommendations I'm open for any suggestions like should I wait for 5D Mark III should I switch to Nikon D800 because it I think it's just coming out at the end of this month or not but um definitely let me know if any suggestions so here they are Thank you for watching.